first and biggest thing is I moved my my camera up here so you can actually see what I'm typing down in here. Um, and since last stream, if you stayed around at the end of the video, I, I did a bunch of updates to my template. Um, but I added I added one more thing. I added a, a regression test that I will enable at the end of solving part one. Um, this will basically just give me an opportunity to know if my uh, input is correct. Uh, as if I don't, uh, sorry, this will make sure that I don't introduce any regressions to part one. So I don't, because that's what happened last last night. I actually made part one not work, which kind of broke things. Um, so I'm just going to do that, and then that'll yell at me if, if I break part one in the process of solving part two, which I think is probably a, a good uh, good idea to, to not break it, that is. <laughs> okay, so we're two minutes out. So again, hitting hitting the leaderboard is nowhere close to my goal. I'm, I'm not fast enough for that. But um, I would like to beat some of my friends. So we'll see. And it's kind of cool. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what this, this ends up being. It looks kind of like a smoke cloud, maybe. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Oh, I'm going to try and spend just a little bit more time reading the problem and working on the inputs because that really kicked me in the butt last night. So we'll see how that goes. That's a strap. Okay. So we're required fields in pass ports, birth year, issue, expiration, height, hair, okay. Batch files, key value. Oh, this is gonna be some fun parsing. All eight fields are present, invalid, missing a field. Only missing password is CID, which is country ID. Let's get the input. Oh, whoops. Okay. So, so CID is fine. Okay. Two valid passports. Count the valid passports. Okay, so, so the trick is getting the input right. So, um, and we've already stripped, so we're good there. Uh, and then what we need to do is everything space separated. So first of all, if line equals empty line, then um, then we need to add add passport. Um, and then we will reset current. Otherwise, we will add whatever's currently in current and then um, 
So split by spaces, and then for each one of these, what we'll do is we have to get k comma v from uh, Okay, then we'll do x that should give us then do that maybe something like something along those lines just make sure that object is not a mapping um, shoot You know, I think I'll just do this. Not too efficient, but that will maybe work. Why am I trying to be fancy here? Just just do the simple thing and then current E there. Okay, that looks good. Um, If, okay, let's grab all of these. What am I doing? I have, I'm literally using them for this reason. And then let's do this. And then commas here. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm missing something. What am I missing? That should be fine. Oh, it's here. Okay, so if. This should probably be a set for f um, p dot keys. So key pa the passport is a is a dictionary. Um, And CID is the one that we have to ignore. Where's fields here? P dot keys. Oh my gosh. Okay, then we use invalid down here. Uh, 
Um, that seems right. Okay, clearly that's not. Um, okay, so let's grab the test input. See what's going on. It's giving me the right answer for that. Um, What is wrong? Hmm. Okay, let's just check that the keys are what I expect. And Oh. Let's see if we can ECL, IYR, HCL, UIR, UIR, HET, CID. Okay, so we skip CID. That's what this is doing. So we're going through all the fields, right? This is this is correct. Um Potentially the passports are wrong. Oh, no, that's fine. Print P. Let's just try and use a set maybe.
let's just do that and then we'll get rid of that again 128 what dang it um Oh my gosh. What did I guess the first time, guys? I don't really know. But 263 sounds... Okay, this is, this is, I wonder if there's something, oh my gosh. Oh, that is embarrassing. 264. I forgot the last passport. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's the problem. Because I, I didn't ever append the current one, if it's the last one. Shoot. Wow, I'm so bad at this. How long did I say? 12 seconds. Okay, um, each other field has strict rules about what values are valid for automatic four digits. Okay, so birth year. Okay, so this is, this is the same idea. So we continue to ignore CID. for height. Okay, this is a regex problem, obviously. So um, let's just do individual regexes for each one of these. I'm gonna copy all this stuff in here. We're gonna do this, and then we're going to comment it all out. And then, whoops, if, This thing, oh, shoot, it's, it's frozen on me. Um, oh my gosh. Um, Dang it, uh, that's really annoying. Just when I need it the most, it decides to freeze on me. Okay, so let's save. If BYR, p.get BYR. I think it's a pattern first. We're going to just hope that that's the case. 
So basically, if we ever see anything invalid, then we're gonna just we're just gonna continue. Um, so same for iyr, eyr, and int. at least 2020 at most 2030. Okay. Um, then we continue. Continue there as well. Height is gonna be some amount of numbers. Um, followed by CM or IN. Before I screw that up. So height and let's do this. If not HM or so this this is the group that we care about. Um If hm dot okay, no spaces. Group one, um, then if hm.group2 equals cm then f not height less than or equal to 193 continue Else, the bounds are 59 and 76. Okay, so if it's centimeters, then we check that it's, if it's between this, then this will, this will fail. So we don't continue. And then at the end, basically V plus equals one is the idea. Um, so if at any point these fail, then we, then we just continue. To the next passport, I color. I assume that's all we're doing, right? Count the number of valid password. Okay, so then fifty nine is height, hair color. So let me let me move these down. This I feel like is just good for sanity height and then we'll move all these down as well if not read dot match I guess let's just let's just real quickly make sure okay so so it's 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 working the the regex is matching um, whack D, no, no, okay, so, so this is hash followed by, um, if 
followed by O through 9, A through F, six times. P dot get or empty list, empty string, continue. So if it doesn't match that, if I color, if not, in And then here, okay, password ID. It's gonna be more like this one. <clears throat> Country ID ignored. Um, Let's just try it. Okay. Um, let's let's use the tests. Okay, so that's good. Are we getting all the valid ones? What if I call part one first? No, 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 that's not gonna, that's not what I want. <sighs> oh, I missed the, the bounds on both of these. I am so bad at this. Birth year, 1920 and at most 2002. Okay, issue year, wow, again, cannot read, let's just verify that I am doing this right. Cool. Two hundred and twenty five. Four digits, at least 1920, at most 2002. So let's just try okay, and that should give us back three.
four digits issue year Let me just make sure that this regex is correct. Oh. Oh. I think that's probably the issue, but let me just... Let me just do something real quick. Let's get rid of that full match and see if... Okay, that is the issue. So I was missing the full match. Run 4. 224. That sounds reasonable, I guess. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, got in before the other guys on this one, but I'm guessing that they're gonna catch up. They they were ahead of me, so uh, on the previous days. So if they if they solve it pretty soon, they'll they'll hop above me. Um, Oh man, that was absolutely terrible. Good heavens. Like, I missed this, first of all, and then I missed the fact that regexes don't do full match. Okay. Oh, what happened here? Um, so first of all, I totally forgot how to use this regression. Um... So let's go back here. Actually, I'm curious about my, my stats in general. Okay, so I was <laughs> not so great on part one, but part two I did fairly efficiently. I think the regex has really helped. Okay, let's go to four. Oh, not the leaderboard. Let's go here. 264. Okay, so uh, let's <clears throat> let's do what we did last time. Talk through the solution. So, what's going on? Um, okay, I need to fix my a few things. So, so first of all, all of my test scripts super useful. Um, I don't know if you saw, but the make test, totally a lifesaver, having that ability to just copy in the test and and then just do that. Um, heavenly. Um, I might modify it so that it has, so I can have multiple test files. Um, but we'll get to that later. So what happened? Um, first of all, this worked like a charm. Didn't have to deal with the fact that it didn't have to deal with new lines at all. Um, reading in the passports worked just fine. 
Um, I was a bit slow on this, and obviously the biggest mistake that I made was I forgot this one. So, I really don't know how to fix that, besides just, like, remembering it, because that was really dumb. That was super dumb. So the issue here is that I was appending to passports whenever I saw an empty line, but the end of the file doesn't have an empty line, and so I wasn't doing appending the last passport, so I was missing one, which was why I was off by one. Um, so the issue Yeah, the issue is just incompetence, so I, I don't know what to do about this. Otherwise, this code works just fine. I think I try to get a little bit too fancy in here, so I think I'll, I'll go with the simple. That's going to just work better. Um, I tried to do a whole dictionary comprehension thing. That was just really stupid. I'm not sure why I thought that was a good idea, so let's not do that next time. Um, okay, so moving on, copy pasting was a great idea. So pulled in the fields and then for part one, I should have just gone with a set thing immediately. And then this is what was really weird to me is that that is false. Oh, because, ah, uh, it's a dictionary. Oh, that's so embarrassing. So if I wanted to do it that way, then I would have had to do uh, missing equals set. And then I could change this to just be missing in Something like that. That looks a little bit cleaner. Um, and then let me actually add a regression test for part two. It's 224. That way then, as I'm as I'm cleaning these things up, they won't. I won't introduce any regressions. So yeah, that that works. I think that's that's really annoying. Okay, so yeah, they've 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 hopped me, but I am catching up. So I'm two off the leader now, um, or two off two off second place now. Colin is still going strong, so I'm ten off the ten off the leader. But um, so, by the way, this is a leaderboard of a bunch of people from Colorado School of Mines. I don't think I can share it with you, share the code with you, because it's not my code to share. But um, it's a bunch of my friends from school who've either graduated or are still in school or otherwise familiar with Colorado School of Mines. Okay, what else is there? Okay, so I think that that part one's pretty clean. I should have, yeah, I, I don't know why I decided to do a for loop. That was, I thought, you know, after I had done this part that I would go for the simple route, but really just casting it to a set would have just been super easy, so... Okay, moving on to part two. So, what did I do here? Um, so, my, my thought here was, when I saw this, um, when I saw part two, 
I saw that you have to do extra verification. I immediately went to regex, which kind of worked, except for the fact um, except for the fact, so full match was the issue here, but, um, so, and then I missed, I missed this. I just misread the problem. So, again, looks like I need to spend just a little bit more time reading these things, but copying this stuff in, super, super useful. So birth year, um, matching against four digits, and then if, if it doesn't match, or if... Uh, when I convert it to an integer, it's not between the two bounds, then I continue. So continue, continue is basically just an escape hatch to go to the next passport. It's basically saying it's not valid. Um, same thing with issue year, same thing with expiration year, same thing with height. Well, not same thing with height. These become a little bit more confusing. So height, this one was annoying. Um, I had to parse out the First of all, I had to match against this, so see if it was a valid height, right? Um, then I pulled out the actual height, which is an integer, um, and and then I tested to see if it was centimeters. If so, if it uh, if it didn't fall within this range, then continue. I use this not and then the the range in parentheses. It, it's it's maybe like I don't know. It, it's fine. Um, I, I could have done something like height. I could have reversed these, you know, um, if. Um, but this, I think, was a lot cleaner. Okay, what else is there? Hair color. So hair color, um, this is where I really got bit by the full match because Um, I mean, these I, I probably got bit too, but this one's where it really became obvious because it was it was letting through seven characters, seven characters afterwards because full match because match doesn't just matches the front of the string and ignores the rest of the string even if it doesn't you know match the pattern. So honestly, maybe I should add to my template something around that. I don't know, maybe this is useful. Let's add it to the template anyway. I think this is what the format needs to be. I, I think it's fine. Yeah, like, let's just, let's just make it simple. If we need it, then that's fine. If we don't, then that's totally fine too. Run four, okay. Okay, so another thing that worked really well was doing dot get so that was good eye color so this allows me to test for the fact whether or not it exists in the dictionary or not because if it doesn't then it'll default to an empty string and then that'll obviously fail the regex or in this case the the not in so this is just a test and see if it's in this set Do that. That's, I feel like just a little bit cleaner. Same amount of lines. And then passport ID. Yeah, that was the same thing. Nine digits. Basically the same as this guy, except for without the hash and without the A through F. And um, yeah, so so let's just hope that this rematch thing works. But I think this worked like pretty well. Um, Yeah, so what did I miss? 
I missed the bounds on the years. I missed the regex full match thing, but so I, I, I'm not going to blame myself too much about the full match. It was stupid, but like at least it wasn't that I just didn't read anything. It read it correctly. I didn't make any stupid typos. I just forgot to do stuff like this. Um, and then the other stupid thing that I did was this thing. And honestly, you know, that's just, I won't do it again, I guess. Um, but that's the hope. Okay. I think that's, that's about it. It's kind of, uh, I like this method. Uh, I, the other thing that I like about this that, allowed me to not shoot myself in the foot too much was was using continue as basically a, a escape hatch and then if it if it fell through the gauntlet then do this v plus one plus equals one that was good that was definitely good so where do we stand so day four is done and we'll call it a day there um i think there's not a ton to to look back on um you know they weren't they weren't ridiculous mistakes they were they were annoying mistakes but they weren't just absolute incompetence so we'll call it a day here all right thank you all for watching leave a thumbs up come follow me on twitch and have a good day